last name, how do you spell it? My first name is Gus, G-U-S. Hand for hand, H-A-N-R-A-H-A-N. And you are from Sussex. I am from Sussex. Okay. Van Harrison, 69. What do you think about some of these cuts coming to the yard? I don't like these cuts at all. Absolutely no need to be cut. You're taking money that's supposed to be allocated for our health care system, and they are taking and using it for their pet projects and giving it to big welfare. We pay taxes to have a health care system here. We are not going to lose these services. We will get them back because we will make it whole if we have them to get them back. This service is made here in Sussex. Have no business cutting whatsoever. Like I said, uh, tell me that uh, Karen McGrath had a meeting here this morning with the staff up here, and she more or less told them that's not her problem. She is the CEO of Horizon Health. We taxpayers pay her salary. Now, Horizon Health, as far as I'm concerned, should be eliminated. Horizon Health, uh, Vitality, Vitality, Vitality should be done away with, and Medivis, they look after the ambulance. The ambulance should be put back there at the hospital where it used to be years ago. And if they're short of staff and they were busy in here, the paramedics in these ambulances, if they're not able on the call, can be helping in the hospital. And How do you think these cuts are going to affect the, the Sussex community? Well, it's going to affect the Sussex community quite a bit because we have a, an outside and Sussex population of about 30,000. Yeah. If somebody out in the back country takes a heart attack, some serious problem, and don't have time to go to St. John, but they have, you know, a few minutes to get in here to Sussex, it is a critical thing for these people's lives. And there were people made comments too that had illness, and it wasn't for the host Sussex hospital to be open, for them to get in here and get their medical help, they would be dead. So it is a vital emergency vital service, service that we need. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Karen McGrath, CEO of Horizon Health. Yeah. Apparently she had a meeting with her this morning with the staff in there. She's the CEO and she said this is not her problem. Well, whose problem is it? Horizon Health looks after our health care. Hey, Carol. Hey, just like you. anybody else, she's controlled by the government. You know what I mean? We need to, we need to get rid of it. The problem with the health care system, why we don't have any money, is because we got three different agencies. And I mean, he, he still he has quite a we got the right and we the urban. We got Fight Hallers. He's the hatchet man, remember? Yep. <laughs> and we got Lindy to look after the yeah. Now, like I said, all this privatization in the government is what's causing our shortage of money. They are, they are taking money, allocating money that's supposed to be for our health care, and they are taking it to use it for their pet projects and for big welfare. We want to stop. Now, if this is not Karen Rabat's problem, where she is sick to all horizon health, we probably pay her some fresh food for $600,000 a year for his family. We want them closed down. They are not people like God. They're not looking after the people. And we are sick and tired of, use, of them using our tax dollars for their budget funds. <laughs>
the police or the cops were saying he warned everybody that everybody knew. I believe it was also Ted Bundy said he told he told everyone beforehand. Because it wasn't he just you weren't just hearing about it. I get the major information probably about a week and a half ago from Horizon and from the cabinet and maybe in the premier. And between now and then, I've been doing my homework, talking to Horizon, talking to the stakeholders that are involved in this hospital. And like I say, I'll be making a decision at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Doesn't that mean the public or stakeholders? It's either to support it or don't support the government or Horizon of what they put in front of the government. Remember, you might need the ER sometime as well. We'll see you tomorrow morning. You did make a statement. You made a statement yesterday when I was listening to you. You said over your dead body they closed the hospital and the lab. Yep. Be careful what you say because if effectively if you vote for this, they're closing our hospital. Yeah. We're not going to have one, man. You vote for this. They're not going to be a family doctor is not going to look after his patients and they're not going to do it if they can't admit their patients. And they're not going to send them to St. John. Right. And all the specialists that are doing the satellite work here, yep. they're not going to be up here because they're not going to take the chance on doing surgery here and not having somebody that that is going to die. Like the surgery will not be affected. The daytime surgery uh, it will not, be. Not no, be. it will be because they'll have complications. The they won't do it. Will not be affected. I bet you like will. Like I say, I'm gathering the information yeah. today it will be and tonight, if there are no and I'll be making a statement at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. All right. Bruce, okay. Bruce, open the right. fair enough. Bruce, no, you know it's not fair enough. Vincent and the road. You know damn well they will. This is just the start. If we allow them to take this service here, the next thing they're going to do is they're going to take the lab, and eventually down the road, all Sussex will ever be is a walk-in clinic. As long as I'm the MLA here, Gus, yeah, yeah, the, the hospital will never close, no. the lab will never close. But they're going to and try I'll swear it. in a Bible for that. Yes, I, I, I know Bruce and, and, and I'm not being honest with you. I'm being very upfront. I know, but okay? I'm very I'm, upfront. Yes, but I'm, there's nothing else I can say. No, I know okay? there's nothing else you can say, but I'm telling you that I know the way the government works and if they start taking, they're not going to quit until there's nothing left. Now that's plain and simple. That's I, I don't get. Yes, you can say that you're going to do it, but you eventually are not going to have. You the know, that's not a man of my word. You've yeah, known I know me you for are. many, many years. Yeah, I so know, but you cannot don't stop question it. my word. No, no, yeah, I'm not. I can't. No word, Bruce. I'm just telling you a fact. Okay. Because the government will not, will not, will not leave everything here just because you're going to say it. I, I, I appreciate the fact that you're going to stand up for the people here under Bundy, yep. and I got no problem with me and you have any conversations over over the while yep. about it. But I'm telling you, when they start taking, they're going to keep taking until they're starting left. So they do it. Tomorrow morning. They, they, okay, they do it. Thank you. Make my statement tomorrow morning. Yeah. 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 Yeah.